Look at my hair. I do I say still there? <laughs> <laughs> In 1988, as a result of a lot of practice before and trying to get into the depth of what yoga really is all about, because there was nothing of yoga the way it is right now, in those times it was intriguing because we had no idea what was coming out of the East. For us it was yeah, mysterious, something unknown. Uh, but we were uh, like opening, opening up, maybe because of the Beatles. I wanted to find my deeper self coming in bloom, full bloom. I think that's a birthright for everybody, but it's, it's not uh, a fact. It's not real in, in this society. So I had to go and dive deep into the yoga, into the scriptures, because the yoga to me was the best non-dogmatic technique written from thousands of years and I had to update it. I had to find a way to get an understanding of the real depth because the blah blah about uh, Prakriti, the Purusha, uh, Aham Sarvasi Prabhava, Matar Sarvam, and, and all that was like Latin or gibberish to me. I taught myself in Amsterdam how to read and write Sanskrit and uh, to get into the scriptures and to have a full understanding of their of the Hinduistic uh, culture which is very much related to the uh, uh, to yoga in 72 when I was 12 I already I was very interested in psychology Hinduism Buddhism in music scriptures uh, uh, readings and uh, all that and yoga in those times was something unknown that was strange. Don't do it. It's uh, wrong. Hey, hey, the man is strange. They're doing strange things. So, but I was already into that. So I had to find, I went through this matter of the old scriptures, the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, the Vedas, uh, all that through Sanskrit, through an uh, Indian teacher, who uh, a, a priest, he taught me. Yes, he, I was the only Western guy there in the Mandir, in the school, of course. I was a stranger in this, uh, uh, in those times, I was a stranger. And then I found techniques that I can understand with my Western mind, that I can practice, that wherein I feel instant elevation of my being, where it came from. And that I had no idea, so I began somewhere. So it says here, yoga. Yoga is uh, yoga, chitta, vritti, nirodaha, silencing the modifications of uh, the brain, of the thought going down. And how do you do that? Yeah, through yoga. I, I made some uh, nice little when drawings. Did you write this book? This was in uh, '88. This is an 88, I came uh, and uh, I wrote this book in, uh, uh, with my little means. I had very little money. Uh, old typewriter, tick, tick. That, that, that was my uh, uh, technique. Tick, tick, tick. And so there you got it. And uh, uh, drawing some pictures and nice. Like me <laughs> meditating, uh, going into, uh, into the tree. You know, to be one with the tree. And the tree sees you, and I see the tree, and I'm one, and you know, fantasy. Yes, and uh, sitting in the uh, Pahatma Sana, the lotus. Yeah, just put your knees in and do some stress on it's your knees. It's a, it's, a, it's a sort of a drawing book because I had no real photos. Uh, at a certain moment, I had uh, somebody with a photo camera, and he made photos of uh, all the asanas and things. We get many, many types of yoga, uh, kundalini yoga, uh, hatha yoga, kyan yoga, uh, yeah, going on, trying to explain it all. And when I wrote the book, as conclusion, this is it, this is that, this is that, I was still into this psychic, uh, being locked up in this society. I tried to 
make an attempt to find myself, the deeper self, that was quite difficult in those days. Uh, but I had my discipline. I went into the cold water. I had developed my own kind of yoga, you know, instinctively, intuitively. I could not really understand what this was all about. This was a different culture coming from uh, uh, thousands of years ago and it uh, appealed to me, but really understanding, I did not. It's too esoteric, too far away. Oh, here, look, this was an exercise. Ekahasta Sarira Uttana Asana. This exercise was actually in no uh, book on Hatha Yoga uh, wherever in the world. I just invented it, but because I knew my Sanskrit, that's why I called it Ekahasta, which is one uh, uh, limb. Ekahasta Sarira, Sarira is body. Uttana is lifting up, Asana. Ekahasta Sarira Uttana Asana. One arm bended, I call it now. <laughs> Look at them flying, eh? Uh, it's all in, body awareness is here, fully present, I tell you, yes. This was one of my exercises. And of course, Adomuka Brixasana, the tree. The tree I knew in many, many ways. To stand on, uh, 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 even on one hand. Ah, nice, nice uh, exercise. Just standing on your hands. The handstand. Oh, here, look at this. The Durvasana. The Durvasana, Durva. He, he, he was a man with, a, 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 he was a wizard, but he, he was always angry. He was always angry. And he, he was known for his anger. So they made an exercise that, uh, that controls his head. Because the anger goes through the head, you become a rat. And if you put your leg on the back of your head, you, you bring down the anger. And that's Durvasana. Yeah, man. <laughs> Look at my hair. It was uh, still there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, it's funny. <laughs> uh, here is Samakon Upavisti Konasan. Uh, yeah, it's uh, like a nice little spread. I call it the sandwich spread uh, uh, exercise. But then the Hanumanasan, which is like this, it's good for blood flow in the loins and all. It's nice. I call it a, a get your balls on the ground exercise. Hey, the, it's a free translation, you know? Uh, no disrespect, no disrespect. Uh, just twist your feet. Tw uh, just twist your feet and your ankles and, your, and uh, do something with your body and then uh, feel proud to do it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, more of those exercises. These are the asanas. And asanas uh, means uh, seats. Uh, asana uh, uh, literally means uh, seed, the seed of the soul, needs to be good. That's our medium, our body, our vessel. The vessel of the soul is the seed, so uh, it needs to be good. And uh, Hatha Yoga actually is body awareness to prevent from disease. Oh, here I got into a uh, 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 sort of... Uh, when you get into Pranayam, and it was an 88, uh, when you get into pranayam, then uh, explain it. Hey, uh, pranayam is not just a little uh, breathing exercise or something. Uh, you go into the mind. And this is like going into the mind to make it big, you know? And, and then we get into the Sanskrit. And of course, my, he, uh, it, I think it was him. He, uh, he is now a little bit uh, uh, grown up, but he's still a baby, my baby. Uh, when you were young, you were writing over my, uh, in my oh, book. Is me. Yes, he wrote into that book, you know. That's what they do, the new generations just don't give a <laughs> F, U, C, K, K, about what daddy is doing with, uh, oh, but it is my book, and you, don't, you cannot do that. But I, uh, it stayed. I remember and now I am proud. I remember a beating. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> don't tell that! We are into yoga, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. are into peace and love and all. Wait, we cannot talk about be that, that is really wrong, by the way. Uh, 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 no, there was no beating. No, Come I know. On. It's just no. jokes. Yeah, okay. 
So I did this book. I came, uh, uh, I did this book, and that was beautiful and now we can in 1988. Use it as? Now you can, yes, exactly. <laughs> you can use it for your ass. This is what <laughs> you said. For the to as toilet paper, that's right. Yes, as a, <laughs> it's a little bit sturdy and hardy as no, toilet paper. I don't think it's good but uh, no, uh, it shows that. Uh, 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 to to get to know to some things in the beginning you have to take on things you never will use any uh, anymore later and that is uh, it's a preliminary stages uh, in which I got to know that uh, knowing this is what I should not know or what I should leave and that's what I did I know my shit but then I left it Finish. yeah all right Going to the toilet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I tell you, hey, you will not have a good time. <laughs> Thanks, man.